Manasseh. Yeah. Manasseh is in 2 Kings chapter 21, verses 1 to 18. Yeah. And in 2 Chronicles 33, 1 to 20. Mm-hmm. In the Old Testament, you got to read them both to oh, get yeah. read them both to get the complete picture. Yes, yes. And Manasseh was the son of King Hezekiah, mm-hmm. and he became king at the age of twelve years old oh. after his father died, and he ruled over Judah for fifty-five years. Five, five? Yeah. Fifty-five? Fifty-five years. That is the longest reign in the history of the Judean kingdom. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. But he did evil in the eyes of the Lord, the Bible tells us. And yeah. Those were the darkest years in Judean history. Yes, yes. And after his father died, he got involved in idolatry mm-hmm. and all kinds of pagan practices um, that he learned from the other pagan nations. Yes, yes. And he uh, he restores all the pagan shrines and altars his father worked so hard to get rid of. He even goes as far as setting up pagan altars in the temple of the Lord. Oh. And even sacrifices his own sons in the fire. Oh, no. That's evil. Yeah. Mm. So, But he's also involved in many other things, sorcery divination, witchcraft, all of that is a direct violation of God's law. It is, it is, yeah. The prophets were trying to warn him, but he doesn't listen. No, he doesn't, no. Yeah, and uh, God is very angry. But uh, what is interesting here is that God speaks to Manasseh Mm. and the Israelite people, Mm -hmm. warning them, and still they don't listen. Oh. That's unfortunate. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what, what happens then is that God allows the Assyrians to invade Judah, mm-hmm. and they take Manasseh captive. Yeah, it's unfortunate. King Manasseh is taken captive. I know, that's awful. And uh, they not only take him away, they put a hook in his nose and put him in shackles and take him to Babylon. Um, so he's publicly humiliated. Yep. Um, but something, there's something that happens to Manasseh while he's in captivity. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he cries out to the one true God in prayer and repentance. Amazing. Yeah. Does God hear Manasseh's prayer? Um, does Manasseh turn back to God? That's a good question. And how are the Israelite people affected? Yeah, what does what does the future hold for Manasseh and his people? And what about all the evil? Will it stop? Real people, real events. Check it out.